Hey, what's up ladies and gents? Welcome to a new review. Behind us is the new Renault. This is the uh, Captor E-Tech uh, engineered new package. So in this video, we're gonna take a tour of the exterior interior details. So without further ado, let's just jump into the review. New Renault Captor engineered package. So beautiful design, new style. So there is an RS line, but this also looks very similar, but a little bit different color wise. Now it's good to have options because we all have different tastes. Now checking the key fob before we start with the car, it's the same key fob and rest of the lineup. You can lock, unlock, turn on the headlights, unlock the cargo. I wish maybe they've added color of the vehicle instead of this white, but it is what it is. Keyless entry, so you can keep your key in the pocket. Car unlocks when you approach it or locks when you leave. So if I lock the car, you can see mirrors fold and you can see the turn signals. If I turn on the headlights, you can see those. Now let's come a little bit closer and check the details. It is a nice sunny day. You can see those uh, creases on the hood and beautiful design details. So this is the gray metallic color. I'm gonna show you the name inside when I show the spec. And uh, we have the new C-shape LED daytime running lights and LED projectors. Very good performance at night. I'm gonna do separate at night. Uh, review for that to show you that as well so these two first are the main light and then the third projector is the long beam and you can see this is also white but when you um, use your turn signals or hazards it's there now also I like the fact they have this black details inside look at this 3d details also LED pure vision Renault there and you can see black protection with some gold accents also on the alloy. So this is unpainted. This is good when you're going off-roading, slightly you know, gravel stone off-roading, not going to the mountains, of course. And it serves as a protection for your clear paint. Also here, a little bit unpainted at the bottom. Front lip is in piano black. We have those parking sensors in the color matching. And we have this is gold metallic uh, color also. Uh, this is smooth finish and on the top in the grill we have piano black, black badge, air intake on the top, at the bottom, radar for emergency braking cruise distance. Huge thanks to Renault Croatia for giving me this car for among the first for a review. review. Now backing up here, checking the front and turning LED headlights for you looking gorgeous you can see the air intake here and there is also side intakes for better um, aerodynamics there's side tunneling there now uh, let me back up here you can see the whole car and you can see it looks very beautiful you can see also black roof and side mirrors looks very stylish now uh, this is compact urban vehicle so it feels like an SUV, you're sitting tall, but it's really not that tall. So for, to me, this looks like a, a little beefier Clio, uh, but it's also very nice. Now, um, let's check the tires. So we have 18 inch alloys. Uh, these are beautiful design wise, at least in my personal opinion. And uh, we have silver on black and there's those gold accents, also beautiful. 3D badge on the cap, center cap. You also have interesting lug nuts with this uh, plastic covers. And these are 215.55 R18. Again, you can see that protection going around. And we have here some uh, black details also on the driver's side. Have the sticker E-Tech engineered package, hybrid technology. Inside is 1.2 kilowatt hour uh, battery. So it helps you run. Now I'm going to talk at the end what is powering this and exact specs are in the video description as well. Uh, metallic black color so it's not just piano black. This looks way better because this is metallic and then this is metallic top as well. It looks nice. Turn signal is here, no puddle lights and here we have blind spot warning and physical blind spot in the mirror itself. Unfortunately no auto dimming. Inside mirror is auto dimming. Now, there are washer nozzles integrated into wiper blades. On the top, we have the lane assist camera, light and rain sensor, and 
this is a little bit wide so it is slightly a blind spot if you're a taller person when you have to check the traffic light black roof shark fin antenna there and spoiler extending from the body if I back up <clears throat> you can see the whole car it looks very elegant and it is looking nice especially with this 18 inch alloys on the back we have real disc same tire dimension stop light is integrated on the top rear wiper there always practical and I love the c-shape design of the taillights extending to the top now uh, checking the car it looks very elegant design wise yes there are fake exhaust tips in gold they'd look nice but it's already a boring topic you also have the left LED fog lights and I like how they've added uh, Captur in black and the badge it looks quite sporty now if we turn on the LED tail lights you can see that you can see also the sides illuminate also inside Renault LED light design and if we unlock the car you can see those turn signals now this is really gorgeous looking in my opinion again and here you have the wide lens camera for the backing e-tech hybrid black uh excuse me gold on black so also very nice design wise uh, you have the plates here and on the top are led license plates lights and a little button to open we're going to do that in a moment just to cover this end so the car looks very gorgeous on this light we have a beautiful sunny day now over here when the car is unlocked you can just press open the fuel cap so recommended 98 minimum 95 run if you open this you can just put that there so it doesn't flop around do some scratches and there and push this back in and lock it so it will get locked when you lock the car so don't worry no one will bump out your fuel and yeah so I believe this side is the reverse lights um, yeah now let's open the cargo space press underneath here and let me back up so you can see the whole car in perspective I'm two meter tall person or 6.6 .6 in feet so let me just show you a comparison there you go opens fairly tall you can see the LED lights button that is nicely rubberized press to unlock and here you can close manually on both ends now there is a shelf here rubber stoppers you can remove that and remove the top shelf now you can also put a longer umbrella here it won't fall down and this is nice and big now cargo volume here is 326 liters of cargo space if I'm not mistaken I'm gonna type it down and 1149 when you knock down the seats it is very accessible and practical nice and wide so uh, checking here we have one finger height to the loading area almost flat and this is nice plastic protection on the step now checking the left side here we have a really uh, well thin here but grocery hook on both ends this is closed and on the left side uh, we have the warm light in the back I wish they had maybe two lights but you know car industry likes to save money now here this is flat and if I open this you can see inside we have the uh, spare tire so this is the smaller dimension this is the 16 inch so 145 90 r16 this is also uh, not that wide so this is just temporary when you have a flat tire so you can use uh, or drive it uh, temporarily max speed 50 miles per hour or 80 kilometers per hour now you can see also let me just see if i can store this up here for a moment i think it's not too heavy just to show you here now uh well if we didn't have the tire inside we could uh, move this and it will fall down there and stay in upright position now in Croatia here we have a first aid uh, triangle has a triangle and uh, spare light bulbs but I just want to show you here so there's like 
five or six fingers to the height where the uh, false floor is standing and well now it's standing sort of like I've I mentioned so you can see you can see that and uh, there are to the points there and well I have to show you from this angle and well there all four sides now you get here a lifter to of course replace the tire now putting this back way easier with two hands but yeah there we go ah, come on work with me there we go all nice and flat you can see that uh, when my bag is not in the way so seats knock down 60 40 uh, you need to approach from the sides to open them you have here to the points for the child seats so you can see that the top is also practical if you need to store something on the top closing up uh, not too loud closing sound yeah let's check the rear so as you can see when I approach the car it kind of locks and then unlocks it works actually pretty well uh, door handles are a little bit clunky now they should put they actually did put some rubber here but I guess hmm, I don't know just think they could be a little bit better uh, now you can see rear doors open fairly wide so it's not a huge problem putting a child seat on the back but let's hear the closing sound okay I did need to use a little bit more force so pretty solid and checking the seals here we have double sealing we have rubber going around at the bottom now these doors go all the way down and this in theory should prevent a lot of water staying here but there is some water getting inside I did try that when I washed the car now over here you can push down to lock from the inside for the kids this is for safety if you have like two-year-old or something like that I can reach and Roman 5 here means this is a factory tint I'm just mentioning this if you buy it as a used car and on the back hard plastics on the top but this is padded and this is padded now this is some sort of sport package so you have this kind of carbon fiber imitation it looks nice and then you have here some contrast stitching white and gold automatic power windows and speaker at the bottom now this is a bit narrow so you can't fit a really a water bottle there there's an extra speaker on the top here now there's also inside seal and on the top both uh, doors there is this mounts if you want to put roof racks now here checking we have cloth inside and on the sides and then some uh, maybe vegan leather I'm not really sure and contrast stitching there are these these zippers for the isofix points and you can see inside the seat and the top I love this gray finish matching with this black it just feels so much you know more premium ish but you can see here they've kind of uh, had those openings they plan to put handles on the top uh, not on the front but they've kind of decided I guess in the last moment they're not going to do that and over here you can pull here to knock down the seat so let me just show you that you can see here the top and the bottom space uh, there is this metal thing holding the tire it's like a metal bar just going to show you from the different angle some of you might have noticed it so yeah and uh, the bench can slide back and forward you can see that and I think these are original carpets here I can't really see the camera can see better but uh, they do match the car so there's that there are nets here and this is uh, behind plastic but it's covered by leather so really feels premium ish let's get inside now feet room there is enough of it uh, knee room I would say generally okay but uh, I'm sitting on the front so I adjust it for myself in that case for a taller person there's a little bit less knee room but if average person was sitting on the front or sitting on the back there would be a lot of more uh, knee space uh, air vents on the back close open adjust the vents 12 volt outlet two USB A's for fast charging 
and there's two on the front for media and transmission tunnel is not that tall but wider seats are super comfy and uh, there's big windows here a lot of light coming inside there's one in the seat pillar view in the back is okay but narrow you can see also the storage uh, place on the top shelf and yeah I guess I mentioned there's no uh, handles there and here we have the cold LED lights and let me show you the closing sound so yes I reviewed this car uh, before pandemic actually among the first on the internet and there's still this rattling sound when you close the rear doors I guess it's just the shape of the car it's really you know um, spacious uh, and just resonates a little bit I don't know so I'm not sure if the, this mic is picking it up I'm just being 100% honest here and now it is spacious but for a taller person not so you can see here I cannot straighten up my uh, head if I straighten up my back but for an average person uh, there's enough of wide uh, space but uh, the head space on the back is a little bit limited even an average person would be touching with his hair and you know it's okay but the roof is slightly sloping down so otherwise the car is spacious and uh, checking the front here you can see those gold accents on the steering wheel but we're gonna come to the front and check that out also you can see here you can uh, adjust that press here to lower it down and they have adjustable seat belts on the front now let's get to the front where you're going to spend most of your time if you purchase a car and oh not to forget uh, the bench slides so let me just try to show you how much you can get space wise so yeah it goes wow all the way i can barely like uh, you know squeeze my knees but you can see how close that gets so you would definitely get look at that a lot of space on the back especially if you need to you know uh, store some cargo okay so it's also practical so far I like the car uh, honestly just maybe on the back if you have taller people that might not be your choice but generally speaking it's good now uh, not to forget you can pop this plastic there's a physical uh, key cylinder on the back and I think you get a key uh, in your key fob usually that's the case so this is just in case your 12 volt battery dies you need to access the car and um, unlocking closing sound is you know generally okay now uh, also good seals there you get that greeting sound not sure if you heard it and over here you have the seals and at the bottom now at the bottom is tire dimension and uh, tire pressure you need to put so you can spec 18 inch or in lower packages we get 17 or 16 inch uh, so uh, there's that and we have on the front soft so this is softly padded unlike the back so a bit better this is soft this is soft and not sure if you can see that you can see that actually there's ambient lights here but I'm not sure why they ended it here they start from the back here and then they just could have extended it all the way down if you ask me now there are automatic power windows you can lock the rear for the kids so they cannot play with those and you can hear uh, electronically adjust the mirrors or fold them this is nice and sturdy and there's a speaker at the bottom this is better water bottle area there so the back one is a bit narrow there's a plastic film I haven't removed but you can see e-tech engineered signature there and checking here we have again same pattern really comfortable seats uh, so far I've driven it but I gotta say for a taller person there's lack of lumbar and you're gonna get some back pain if you're a taller person if you're you know average that is not a case but just have that in mind now you push that one up and you slide the whole seat back and forward this is for up and down push this up to tilt the seat and yeah unfortunately no lumbar uh, design wise they do look good and I like it in general 
have the sport aluminium paddles there we're gonna pop the uh, front at the end of the video and explain what's powering this uh, these are blanks steering column is manual and that's not a speaker it's just an advert for electronics over here we have middle bridge floating so it's not connected but you have that little storage area there we're gonna check that out um, later and uh, before I jump inside you can see it here a little bit better lane assist brightness for the uh, digital cockpit uh, headlights uh, adjustment height wise and heated steering wheel now let's jump inside and close the doors let's hear the closing sound yeah I think they could work on this closing sound it's not bad but it could be better definitely now let me switch to wide lens so beautiful point of view there will be separated point of view driving with no talking so you can hear the uh, sounds that the car makes and there's going to be separated night point of view driving where i'm going to summon my impressions on the road and behind the steering wheel check that out it's going to be separated video because this video will be uh, too long now zooming back in steering wheel now it is almost like flat top slightly and flat bottom so it's sort of like a sport and three spoke now you can see here there is some sun catching up but you can see leather texture is very smooth i love it and this peripheral part it's so nice to the touch uh, here is the engineered or e-tech i'm not really sure which e is that um, also contrast stitching gold and white and gold accents next to the badge here now uh, we have here on the left this is for cruise control this is speed limiter uh, lane assist on or off distance and then you press here to set uh, the speed and go up and down and zero to cancel or press the brake now here you have the automatic lights so keep them on automatic uh, turn signals over here you have uh, wiper controls also could be automatic uh, droplet size and rear wiper and here controls on the right are here voice commands phone calls uh, view options up and down for the inside menus and press ok for like tire pressure setting and so on now here we have some piano black details so this is the only piano black in around the screen basil have some gold accents there so you can see that as well closed or opened and this is all softly padded dash even blowing there speaker there so you can see that speaker and generally this is all very nice air vents to the side there start stop engine and there is this for the volume press to mute source on the top mode and this you can move this wheel so you're gonna figure it out now uh, screen on the top here uh, we're gonna come to the screen in a moment later EV driving mode only uh, driving driving modes hazards a lock or unlock you can uh, decide in the infotainment if you want the car to lock when you start driving so let me just turn on the AC because it's so sunny I'm going to like uh, suffocate inside because it's so hot it's colder outside but I just need to you know I'm gonna turn on the engine here okay uh, the car is on but it's in electric mode so you really don't hear the engine um, moving on now underneath are uh, AC controls so these are nice physical AC controls which is gonna lower the fan speed but you have here uh, nice controls you can press this one this is max blow uh, we don't need that but you can see here AC on and you can close the air circulation choose the air direction so that's quite nice and at the bottom here uh, we have as I mentioned two USB A's for media aux in and 12 volt outlet on the front now this is rubberized uh, and I got my USB cable here not to forget to show you the Apple CarPlay uh, six-speed automatic 
you can see reverse neutral drive and brake this is flashing only on the camera not in person e-tech and parking button so this uh, sometimes a little bit clunky and noisy but generally okay have nice leather here and here this is like padded with leather behind it's just a plastic but it is and nice and feels nice now there's an ambient like you can slightly see it this is rubberized and this is plasticky this is for your key fob electronic parking brake and auto hold uh, very nice for the automatic to have auto hold so you don't have to hold your uh, foot on the brake on a traffic light uh, two cup holders these are adjustable but no rubber mat here I think they could have added that would be too expensive and uh, seats are very nicely designed and here you have the front uh, isofix option as well excuse me uh, this is standard not an option and over here so the opening now you can see here I'm gonna show you the spec in a moment just to show you there are there's a light in and there is uh, quite some space you get this like uh, manuals inside I'm not going to show that and there's also this area maybe for your uh, sunglasses and so on now to show you the creation spec here Captur E-Tech engineered 145 or I think it's 43 but okay uh, hybrid so this is the base price and then you have the uh, easy drive so this is active uh, cruise control and uh, you know lane assist and so on 800 euros option spare wheel 150 euros option and metallic uh, gray Cassiope black atoli color 690 euros comes up to with uh, co2 tax and 25% uh, value added tax to 32,430 euros below is the Croatian Kuna price now Croatia has in 2023 adopted euro and left its domestic currency unfortunately after 30 years of independence so yeah uh, now we have euros sadly I prefer my own currency but okay um, things change uh, and here this is padded so this is also nice and soft not a huge fan of this piano black but it is what it is <clears throat> I would prefer something like this now armrest is soft and it is extendable you can see that don't worry this is just my mic cable and here you press to open there is room here so you can just put a hand here as a comparison there it's deep but uh, not too wide and uh, to show you on the top here baseless mirror uh, you can see a little film here so auto dimming view on the back is a bit narrow you can see further away passenger airbag information there are LED lights here and emergency call I think there's a temperature sensor inside as well you have the Bluetooth call uh, mic there and documents holder you have a light that turns on when you open the privacy mirror and turns off and then this this does not cover the hole so there's sun shining here and it's not extending uh, not too many cars have that so I would prefer that if they could add that and here headspace uh, plenty of headroom it's never an issue on the front for the most cases but uh, it's just a little bit lower on the back seat now um, let me focus on this screen so I just press ok here for the seat belt uh, always fasten your seat belts when you're driving I'm just not driving at the moment now um, over here uh, the screens are uh, have a reflective surface so it's shiny but there will be a little reflection so if I come close you can see my phone I'm gonna adjust it like this but just to show you the controls here as I mentioned you can cycle through those and then if you go up and down you can change uh, stuff with the arrows so uh, front screen here um, well you have the speedo uh, you have the uh, range for the fuel uh, white is fuel and then blue on the right is your battery uh, and then you have like energy used recuperation and uh, odometer there speedo uh, distance between other cars now first one you can see the consumption here 
on the right it's current consumption and the average consumption this car has as you can see almost 600 kilometers only so it hasn't passed the braking period you can see your average speed you can see tire pressure hold uh, to reset that and coolant temperature if we move to the next one you can see music now it's currently muted but let me just press on mute uh, actually I'll switch the screen off you can see here the uh, radio station and then if I uh, go to the next one now I'm not sure if you heard the petrol engine decided to turn on uh, probably because of the battery now so here you can see compass and if I cycle you can see like the north and you can see here the map in the middle it's always at the night mode and you have smaller bubbles and then if you press here oops wrong one here you can see uh, this is the right bubble so you can have here how green free driving you can see your fuel consumption and nothing or if you want more minimalist or you can see the energy flow in this case you can see that the engine is feeding the battery uh, or when you're driving the wheels or if the battery is uh, feeding the wheels now the petrol engine is on it can charge the battery and you can charge it when you're braking uh, also when you're recuperating so uh, the gear here has drive and brake so if you're in drive it starts braking at the end slightly when you're in B it start re starts recuperating uh, almost immediately uh, and more aggressively now um, you can drive almost one pedal in B mode but the car won't stop you need to hold the brake to stop and then the automatic hold engages now moving uh, to the driving modes just to show you that so you have different screens here depending on the driving modes let me just try to show it like this so you can see here my sense this is like the standard driving mode this is the sport mode so it changes the uh, screen here and it's just a little bit different setup here uh, and if I go to eco also just color wise and I think you can change the display options as well and it changes the color of the like the top so if I go to the sport you can see red here slightly if I press again it should be green you can't really see it and then kind of blue you can also choose the colors you want uh, it automatically goes to home screen from the driving uh, modes now um, yeah, let's cover the driving modes uh, you can edit here and then you can see steering powertrain light and cluster so in the cluster there are a few options so in lights also you can change different lights uh, change the ambience unfortunately you have light here and here nothing in the dash now let's say I want to go to the uh, eco mode change this cluster so this one it's let me see here oh, it's grayed out so maybe I can change it in the uh, my sense okay here I can change that so this is the standard display you have the sport one you have the comfort one and you have the eco one so let's put it to comfort so it's a little bit different so let me show you that how that looks you can see that and yeah so that's regarding the sport mode. here you can press and always uh, reset or edit current one now uh, this is the home menu before we start explaining the menus let me just uh, turn on some music for you I can't play it for too long not to get a copyright strike I need to keep talking but it's not that bad you know uh, really good speakers and um, so let's explain the screens options now here on the top uh, as you saw temperature outside clock you have the user you have multiple users if it's a family or company car and over here you have home screen there are pages here if you cycle so these are like widgets you can add more of them now um, let's cover the navigation you can have full screen navigation you can have uh, different views from the top north pointing route option and this is like like some sort of horizon or like 
yeah you can see all that uh, you can zoom here you can just use the pinch to zoom it's actually decently responsive uh, to the touch you can center here you can have here uh, points of interest uh, set you at a home or work destination or an address you have here um, traffic locations settings so you can see all of that uh, I'm just gonna move through these I think that's the bottom I apparently and you can see here your map so you can have a day or night so there's gonna be separate night review showing you how the card looks at night so I'm just gonna show you then how the night map looks it's automatic and you can also see all of that uh, here you can press always on three dots to reset stuff and you have also um, points of interest and yeah so let's come back here and just if you want to go to the you know search find address you can also type here everything you need in the search bar so in that case uh, you know get the keyboard and that's it you have also the speed limits and so on you can uh, have speed warnings you have a here well same thing for the settings um, you have here volume controls now I've showed you those and let's get back to the home and you can connect your phone uh, via Bluetooth uh, and here you have the radio so you have the presets you have the list uh, you have the frequency uh, you can put favorites here and then you like you just you know hold on and then you memorize so you have the presets there uh, you have here radio settings you can see those and you have the uh, go back you have the sound settings you can have different uh, sound options you can have that uh, voice phone and other you can have a sound of keys but I personally like to have that off and that's it you have sources here so FM, AM, DAB, Bluetooth, you can also use little controls to switch those and here you have uh, notifications and you can go to the apps here so I just wanted to show you that. My sense, uh, this just, you know, it's another menu uh, there although you have the shortcut there and here driving assistance so you have the two second uh, warning uh, for the distance active braking blind spot lane assist and traffic signs so that's it home screen and here you have the uh, apps just before the apps uh, just to show you here you can press minimal display just have those two information on the top and kind of dims the screen if you're driving you have kids in the back you're sleeping so you don't want light shining on them and here uh, you have this minimal avatar with uh, minimal data sorry and yeah you also see here you can always mute uh, that now here is the app um, so you have shortcut for navigation radio music and their phone applications so you have video and photos not sure if you can run video while driving I don't think that's allowed by law because it's not safe for the driver it's distracting car info uh, have tire pressure information and you have um, history of driving so this is power you use and I guess when you recuperate travel distance consumption in fuel and power uh, how much your average speed total distance and total energy recuperated and here's the energy flow it shows to the cut of the car so on the back is the battery you can see the petrol and in the back is the electric motor and you can see like arrows uh, pointing when the energy is going when you're driving uh, tire pressure you can see that and updates license factory reset if you're selling the car to someone else um, notifications we're going to skip that and settings here you have here driving assistance that we showed you we have parking assistance so front and rear parking sensors cross traffic on the back and uh, rear traffic alerts camera so you can see here the camera resolution is 2000 not really sure why 
car industry is saving money on processors and uh, memory on camera resolution it just makes no sense the screen is decent but the camera could be sharper definitely you can adjust all of those contrasts and you have the uh, you know projection when you move the steering column or excuse me steering wheel sound i guess you can play uh what type of sound you want for the for the backing sensors and let me see here um yeah it's another shortcut for multi-sense uh parking assistance yeah we covered all of that and car configuration uh turn indicator sound volume uh low high or minimum uh yeah and not to forget on the bottom here so we have accessories uh wipers welcome uh, that's the whole uh infotainment i hope that was not too long um yeah when you press here ev uh i think at some point i was showing like an ev sign i guess it's, it depends on the um driving mode but i was showing before ev yeah you show you here ev if i switch it off no oh okay it gives you a message there but anyways uh this the car becomes more responsive and it gives you more feedback on the steering wheel and the sport mode uh, but more or less that's it now when you have your phone connected you can see your contacts below you can see also apple carplay um there's a return button there so this is how it looks now when i'm recording usually it's um you know a little bit laggier uh but this is how it looks it looks very nice on the screen so to wrap it up uh last thing i need you need to know that the car when you turn it off will not stay in this case in sport mode it will go to the default which is uh my sense so just have that in mind and we can turn off here open up let's show you the what's under the bonnet push once up and now i mentioned this is the ita hybrid so let me just open it up so you open it up here at this point to the left push to the left underneath and then you can see that and you have to use the little a leg on the top let me just hold that up now over here is the 1.6 a liter four-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine with a 91 horsepower and it's also combined with the two electric motors the one you see here is the 49 horsepower so those two are counted into system power which is 143 it says 145 on the spec sheet so i'm gonna put a link in the video description for all technical details so uh, you can see that and there's another 20 horsepower electric motor as, as a starter so it helps uh, transmission um, and fine transition between the two worlds now uh, this is all formula f1 tech now available in mass-produced cars a little yellow thing here is a washer fluid and over here is a big sign and over here not to wash your um, engine bay simply because it's not recommended let it drop closes perfectly so just washing your engine bay is in general not recommended it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that this has electric motor and that was the new engineered package thank you for watching be a cool person give this video a like helps me a lot with the algorithm also helps if you leave a comment below and tell me in the comment section below how do you like the new captor engineered and uh, if you like this type of reviews do subscribe it's completely free click the bell to get notified when i upload more videos and thank you for watching hope to see you in the next one stay safe bye